Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the next part of my closet tour and we are going to be talking about my hoodies. So as I'm recording this, it is definitely hoodie season. That's why I waited on this one. My last hoodie video just blew up, so shout out to y'all. Hoodies are definitely a staple for every guy's wardrobe. I even think they're more important than regular basic tees because you wear hoodies more throughout the year than a regular shirt, in my opinion, at least I do, except summertime, right? I don't really get how some of y'all be wearing hoodies in the summertime, but whatever. So we're gonna start from left to right, and we're gonna start off with the essential hoodies I recommend, and then we'll just talk about the rest of my collection. So first off, black hoodie. This one right here is from Essentials, so big shout out to Jose and his team at Essentials. This was actually gifted to me way back when, when I first even did a sponsorship with them. This was years ago. It was one of my first ever sponsored videos. This hoodie is a size large actually, and it's actually quite fitted. They had their sizing a little bit different back in the day. And that's totally cool with me because a more fitted hoodie, you can actually layer it better than a more oversized one. So that is always why I recommend a fitted one and an oversized one so you have options. But this one's just a black hoodie, size large, pretty simple, no branding at all. And I definitely have gotten a lot of wears with this. Although I'm starting to veer away from black hoodies because of my dog Ahsoka, her fur gets all over black hoodies and it's the worst, but I still recommend this one or just any plain black hoodie, totally up to you. Now let's talk about my favorite hoodie that I recommend for anyone and that is the slate gray hoodies. So these two right here, this one's more of a dark gray, almost black and this is like a true slate gray. And what I love about these is they really go with anything. Even a black hoodie sometimes if you wear it with black pants, you can just look like a silhouette. But with a slightly lighter shade of black, it does pop out on your fit more without everything just blending in together. And that's just why I like these. Also, Ahsoka's fur doesn't show up as much on dark gray or slate gray. So this one is a size medium. It's not oversized, it's not fitted either. The perfect balance and this is definitely what I've been wearing a ton lately. I wear this whenever I walk Ahsoka, whenever I wanna layer. You guys have been seeing me layer this a lot with coats and denim jackets and all that. Gray just works with any color. And with this washed look, it always catches my eye and it complements well with denim jackets, especially my vintage one. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one if you can pick one up. And then this one right here is a more true slate gray. It's not light gray. It's not dark gray it's a little bit in between and this one is from talentless so if you guys didn't know talentless is scott disick's brand and this one is a size large definitely a super oversized look and you can definitely tell they focus on the materials it doesn't feel cheap at all and this one also doesn't have any drawstrings so it's very simple slate gray no branding at all a nice go-to but i've been wearing the carhartt one a lot more just because it is a little bit darker of a shade and that's my preference. Okay, next up is a hoodie from All Saints that's currently actually in the washer right now because I did spill a drink on it. So while we wait for that to finish, I'm gonna go wash my face with the sponsor of today's video, Bulk Ohm. Okay, so Bulk Ohm is a Japanese skincare brand designed by men for men. It's only a three-step routine that I'm telling you is a lot more exciting than just slapping some product on your face. Most of y'all probably haven't heard of this brand because it actually just entered the US market this year. It's very popular in Europe and Asia, so let me show you how it works. So you're gonna grab the face wash pretty nice it smells incredible as well squeeze out a small amount and put it inside of this bubble net that it comes with and you're gonna disperse that until it actually foams up yes it's going to foam up like shaving cream you're gonna lather that up on your face as you can see I made a mess but it's definitely super easy to wash off and honestly I can't believe how refreshing it is it's really nice it's almost like that saying of being squeaky clean sometimes it feels like your skin can squeak then you've got this facial toner which most guys don't actually know about but actually your skin will get very dry after a hot shower so the first thing you want to do is apply some toner which will help prevent that and it has this floral almost lychee smell it's much appreciated and then top off your skin with the lotion that also smells great three steps a pretty fun process and you're gonna feel great to start your day currently they're offering a free bubble net with the purchase of the face wash and that's only 23 bucks right now the face wash is gonna last you a good while like I've been using mine for at least three weeks, still plenty left. But also if you wanna purchase the full kit or a face wash with the toner or lotion, you'll also get that bubble net for free. All you have to do is click that link in the description. This offer does expire on Christmas day. Of course, I would recommend the gift box. I think it's a great gift for a loved one or for yourself. It even comes with these extra bottles so you can store the lotion or the toner. But really the face wash alone is a great deal. Trust me, you're gonna really like it. So make sure you check them out. Thank you Bulk Ohm for sponsoring this video. Okay, so here's the hoodie from all Saints, this is actually a size medium. And I got a special story with this hoodie. This was the first hoodie I actually spent a lot of money on. And I'm not saying every hoodie is like this, but this is the first time I was like, yo, that's kind of a lot of money. Do I really wanna be paying for this? And I think it was around 70 to $90 if I remember correctly. Cause before I was just buying some like Gildan hoodies and merch hoodies and all that, and that's totally fine. But there was a noticeable jump in quality. Like this one is definitely a lot more heavier and more soft than any other hoodie I've had. As you can see, I've worn this a ton. This, the fabric's already starting to peel, so I might have to clean it up. 
up. But I've had this for like three years. Wore it a ton, wore it in a lot of fits. And I'm not sure if they sell this hoodie anymore, but this was definitely one of those sentimental hoodies. And it's got more of a darker cream wash, almost gray-esque. Whenever it does come to picking up a hoodie, I do recommend pushing your budget a little bit. Not, don't go too crazy. But pushing your budget a little bit will make your piece last a little bit longer. Just because it's made out of better materials. All right, keeping it moving with this next hoodie. I get so many questions from y'all on where I got this hoodie. This is from Alpha Industries. Just to be transparent with you guys, they did send this over to me whenever I did a photo shoot and a campaign for them for Instagram. But I would have bought this either way. I've bought a lot of bombers from them in the past. And this definitely is something I would have picked up. So the reason why this is a staple is the olive colorway. I think black, gray, olive, those are your solid ones. A lot of versatility, a little bit of color, but this hoodie does have some unique design aspects to it. As you can see, there's a kangaroo pouch down here made out of nylon and it has some branding. Very functional as well, you can keep some stuff in there. It's the cut of the hoodie that makes it so unique and different. This one has a higher neck, it goes up to around here, and I think it just looks cool. Some hoodies are just so simple that you're required to layer over it, but this one will definitely stand out on its own. Fabric is still nice and you still get a little pouch at the bottom behind the kangaroo pouch so you can still put your hands through there whenever you want around you guys have seen me wear this a lot unfortunately alpha industries doesn't sell this specific one anymore but they do have plenty of other olive and green ones that you should check out let's keep it moving okay up next is another black hoodie as you can probably see more of a Soka's fur on it. So another way to make your hoodie stand out and your fit stand out is to change the texture of that same garment. This one is corduroy. And you guys will probably never guess where I got this from. It's actually from Express. Normally you think of Express as, you know, more fitted clothes, more dapper-esque. Nah, they got some good stuff there. This one is a size large for that oversized look. And really it's just another black hoodie just with some texture on it. The light hits it different and will make your fit pop a little bit more. Okay, next up are two very similar hoodies and this just goes to show the price difference. Compared to the quality that you actually get. So very similar in color and shade and all that. This one is actually from Kith. This one is from Uniqlo U. So the Kith one, this is like 150. And the only reason I would recommend this one is if you actually like the brand Kith. This hoodie from Uniqlo U, I think it was $40, $50. And while you do notice a little bit of better materials on this one, this one from Uniqlo U is definitely still up there. So this Kith one is the dusty mouth colorway. It's kind of a light pinkish purple, dusty rose color. As you can see, I've only been wearing muted tones for hoodies and that's what I would recommend if you're gonna go for some color. You got the Kith branding. This is a size large, fits a little bit oversized on me. And yeah, don't pay too much for a hoodie unless you actually like the brand. But yeah, this one from Uniqlo U is also a size large. You guys have seen me talk about it in my last Uniqlo video. The metal tips are very appreciated. It's got this heathered look to it and it's definitely made very well. You can tell this will last a lot longer. And for most people, I'd recommend picking up this one over any other box logo hoodie. Okay, so let's talk about more hoodies. Here we have the talentless hoodie, but in cream, I should have talked about this one earlier. Man, it just goes to show what happens when you wing a video. But yeah, this one is from Talentless as well. Same exact sizing, same exact fitment just a light cream color. And honestly, I haven't worn this in quite some time. So I'm probably gonna be donating this to my family members because I've always worn the All Saints one. And this one is somewhat more pricey. But yeah, let's talk about merch hoodies now. So here we have Respect Women. Shout out to my boy Christian. This is Christian's last collection with his Respect Women brand. But yeah, what I liked about this one was just the simplistic design. Simple branding right here. Quite a bold statement in the back, which looks really cool. But yeah, this one was printed on a champion hoodie and champion hoodies have always been a, a staple for anyone. Unfortunately, Christian doesn't sell this anymore, so let's keep it moving. We got this one, which is the Breaking Burke. Can't roll my R's. Anyways, this one's from the official Breaking Bad store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where I'm from. I'm always here to support local shops. That's what I always recommend for you guys. I've had some people ask about this hoodie, and that's just what I recommend, man. You can always get unique hoodies if you shop local. When you shop local, you're supporting local businesses. You get some unique designs that, you know, other cities can't get unless they go to the actual shop or buy it from online. And if you guys know me, Breaking Bad is my favorite show of all time. I skate in this hoodie all the time. And this was only like $30 if I remember correctly. And you get a little bit of a graphic, a little bit of color. As you guys know, I'm not really big into graphic hoodies, but this is definitely something I can rock. Because like I say all the time, if it represents who you are and your interests, it's definitely gonna fit in your style. So love this hoodie, let's keep it moving. So here's actually a hoodie from my boys at Canto Mano over there in Canada. This is their instant noodle fan club hoodie. Bold whites, cool, unique design in the back. And actually big shout out to Canto Mano. This does not feel like merch at all. You can tell they focused on the fitments, the design, the materials, and they definitely put in a lot of work. And my girlfriend actually stole this one and she wears this all the time. But yeah, if you're a big fan of Cantamando, check out their brand in between C 
DM. They're definitely putting out a lot of good stuff. Let's talk about the last hoodie now. This one is from Death Row Records. As you guys know, I did a partnership with them a few months back. Death Row Records, if you guys have ever played San Andreas, there's a lot of songs on that record label that made it onto that game. So big shout out to Death Row Records. And this is really just a hoodie I mainly chill in inside the house I lounge around in. But yeah, those are all my hoodies. I have quite a bit of hoodies. Honestly, all you really need is about four hoodies, like the ones I talked about earlier. Black, gray, cream, olive. That's really all you need. If you want, you can change the sizing of it to go oversized or fitted, switch it up for some texture. Totally up to you. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you guys wanna see in my closet. I've talked about cargo pants, denim jeans. I think that's about it so far. And now hoodies. So let me know what else you guys wanna see. I got other accessories, hats, sling bags. Just let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys check out Bulk Home. And until then, stay fly, deuces.